Okay, here's the Maritron AL572 amplifier uh, on the bench. Uh, recently bought this at a local swap from a ham. Um, even had a video of it working. Um, only thing I've done to it is um, I cut the green wire. Uh, the green wire um, shorts out 10 meters, which is the auxiliary here. Um, as you can see, 160, 80, 40, 20, 15, and then auxiliary is actually uh, 10 meters and 12. Uh, but it's not legal uh, to sell a uh, high frequency amplifier that will operate on 10 meters. Uh, so manufacturers uh, do certain things to um, make sure that an amplifier won't operate on 10 meters. Um, I've done plenty on the heat kits. They put a filter in there on the um, earlier heat kits um, and later they took out 10 meters altogether on uh, heat kits um, and they had like this one 15 through 80 and even Drake the L7 the later amplifiers they took out 15 meters uh, on the input and the output um, and you had to mod it to get it. But on the Ameritrons, at least most of them I have seen, it's just a green wire in the back that shorts out the 10 meters. It's all in there. Um, it's they got a, a green shorting wire that when you um, push the band switch on 10 or auxiliary like this on the input side, it shorts out the 10 meters. Other than that, uh, cutting the green wire, that's all I've done to this one. Um, I bought it, paid for some decent money for this too. Um, I had never had a 572, Ameritron 572. I had an 811, which I liked a lot, but the wife let it get away for cheap. Um, my fault though, I left the wife in charge and she'd rather have money and see that stuff go. You know how that is. You know, it's an old joke when we die, uh, they're gonna have a $5 giveaway. You know, come get your 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 CBs and ham gear and for five dollars each just take them all but anyway this nice 572B um, it's got a date on it somewhere let me get up I'm old ah, la, 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 la. Ah, there we go um, I, don't, I guess that's the manufacture date uh, 7913 um, modern you know amplifier considering um, uses force 572 B's uh, pretty darn well made uses a pi tune input circuit at uh, variable and you can go to the back I can't reach back there um, and go through the back slide and you can tune the um, the coils for the input tuning. I think they said it has a Pi L on the output tuning. Parasitic suppressors, uh, very robust power supply for, you know, uh, uh, almost legal limit amplifier. And what they mean by almost, and they said in the book, is basically a near legal limit amplifier that this amplifier will do 1300 watts out SSB. A thousand watts carrier um, and carrier they mean dead key with no swing not AM where you you know dead key and swing it up heavy-duty transformer modern capacitors very nice build I like the four meters it's the first um, one I've had with the metering like this the dual meters I kind of like the look of it 572B's are instant on and we gonna turn her on she lights up that's the high voltage on the multimeter you can also turn the switch here and uh, see your reflected power your ALC and then to set your ALC your voltage for the ALC there but we're gonna leave it on high voltage which is showing that it's about uh, 2500 2550 uh, volts DC um, and also you got your forward watt meter forward power and then over here you got a uh, plate current and grid current very nice I like it um, 
instant on don't really need no warm-up for this um, one thing that switch back there that's the safety inner lock it disables the amp when you take the cover off and that's why I got that cable tie thing in there it's actually pushing down on the switch so I can operate the amplifier with the cable off don't do that at home you know they do that for a reason to try to keep uh, people's hands out of that because um, people get killed uh, you know going through it something falls in it or or reaching over an amplifier or you know going into it before it's completely uh, discharged um, this stupid stuff people get killed playing around with that stuff with an open cover so don't do it at home but you know for this demo I'm doing it right quick and I'm trying to be careful I'm trying to stay a foot away from this thing just zooming in with the camera um, but some interlocks by the way uh, if they're engaged some of them short out the amplifier or the, or the high voltage um, so be careful with that you know playing around with the interlocks I knew that this one opened it didn't short um, so if I took out my do doohickey that's holding down the switch the amp just wouldn't power where others if you have the cover off and it's a shorting one and you engage the amplifier it's gonna short the amplifier out so just be mindful of that um, anyway I got this little uh, Mako 75 going into it on 10 meters um, I got the watt meters hooked up the B on the left is the input drive going into it on the 200 watt scale and then the O on the right that's the output on the 2000 watt scale I think they're both on average so you'll see the input going in the output going out over there at the same time hopefully we're all tuned up on average and we're gonna key her down oh we're keying her down with the foot switch with no drive and one thing you see is the you can hear the relay clicking but you don't see any plate current um, I think on my last video I said that hey normally you should see some resting uh, plate current when you key down the amplifier even with no drive um, you know you bias up the tube so they're conducting a little bit but you don't see any on this amplifier um, that was expected on this one anybody know why um, attaboy I know why that's a rhetorical question but anybody know why on this amplifier I'm keyed down now you can see the transmit light going on and uh, no plate current at all even though I got the high voltage and I'm keyed down with it okay end of the rhetorical question um, I guess I'll try to answer that later but not right now so anyway we got to key it down key down the amplifier first and then uh, key down the, the drive going into it audio 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 so low dead key audio about a hundred watts drive going into it and over here audio 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 Shh. we're talking about 700 and sh shish into a thousand average and last we're gonna carefully reach over and put it on peak audio 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 it's recommended 75 watts drive and 1300 watts out so I'm hitting it a little bit harder than I should but just quickly for this demo uh, audio audio that other meter that you see going now is the volt meter and you can see it's hitting about uh, audio about 1500 too that vo uh, watt meter not the volt meter but the watt meter there is also for peak one of the things I found out with this amp and over here you see the uh, plate current and the grid current um, hardly moving them so I'm not hitting it too hard but I'm hitting it with a lot of swing audio and last I said I was going to answer that question of why the um, plate current isn't going I'm going to turn off the drive and keep it uh, uh, keep it key and no plate current this has an automatic bias circuit um, most amps you know you key the amp the bias is you know on all the time um, 
but this one has like a uh, kind of like a uh, automatic calibrating SWR meter you know that calibrates itself the bias on this is um, automatic so when you key the amp with no drive it's like hey ain't no drive coming in so we're gonna keep the uh, bias you know keep the tubes at cutoff they're ready to go we're ready to go with the bias but you know it doesn't need it because you ain't got no drive yet and um, so we're gonna have no bias so you know it's keyed down no bias because it's like no drive don't need to bias or you know it's high bias so the tubes are cut off everything's happy you know running cool and then as soon as you apply the drive I'm gonna key it down and apply the drive the bias kicks in um, to enable the amp the tubes to conduct fully so the uh, bias automatic bias is tied to the drive if you're on SSB, that's a big uh, 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 power reducing or power, you know, I said reducing, wasting. It's It conserves power. That's a better word for it. Got a little tongue tied there. Whereas when you're on SSB and you got this amplifier key in between words, in between syllables, when you're not talking on SSB, there's no signal, you know, no drive coming in. So in between all that, this amplifier is again resting the tubes and, you know, the bias goes down to zero in between words and all that. And then on SSB, as you start talking and, 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 and modulating, the bias of uh, come on with the modulation so it's got that uh, newfangled automatic bias alpha's been doing that for a long time um, but uh, this Ameritron does it that's pretty nice it, it saves wear and tear and heat on the tubes remember that one with the um, uh, what did I do that heat kit HL 2200 I just did a video on and I keyed it down and that one had a uh, uh, pretty low bias. It was hitting the tubes pretty hard. And I keyed it down and kept it keyed with no drive. And no, I didn't. I mistuned it. And with the bias, you know, being low like it was, those tubes were tearing up uh, real heavy um, with, e with the limited drive in them because of the uh, way that the bias was on that one. Well, this one eliminates that problem. Whereas the the variable bias goes with the um, with the output or the drive. So anyway, that's a refinement on this amp. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, consider it like a 1200 watt uh, amplifier, and as they say, almost legal limit. This one is uh, very very clean. Um, I didn't do a thing to it except cut the green wire. Um, 572B tubes, um, which is not my favorite tube, only because they are rated at 160 watts dissipation each. So it's not a super power tube, but you know, four of them in parallel will be uh, 320, 640 watts dissipation. So it's like those four are equal a little bit more than a single 3500Z tube. But this is a well-made amp. I like it. Um, I was trying to look up some history on this amp and Ameritron before I did this video, but there's very little out there. Um, so I'm going to still, you know, try to do some research and some more history on it. But um, I know uh, MFJ bought Ameritron, and then recently MFJ went out of business. So you won't be able to buy these new anymore any Ameritron or and or MFJ amplifiers um, and one last thing as we turn her off and let her cool down you can see the high voltage uh, draining off of there um, this amp when it was selling it uh, listed for $23.95 that's right $2,395 for this almost legal limit amplifier alright that's it for this one. Bye.